Hey, in this video, I'm going to share with you what I think is a really special and unusual meditation technique, which is about having no head. It was developed by the late Douglas Harding. I know what you're thinking. It looks like I do have a head. But by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to experience having no head for yourself. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Shanti and welcome to Wide Awake. In this channel, I talk about all different kinds of meditation techniques, spiritual practices to help you feel more peaceful and calm, but also feel more awake and alive and engaged with each moment. So just so you know, I've put a whole lot of tips and links down into the description below, so feel free to check those out at any time. All right, let's get into the video. Hey, so I'm going to tell you about this really special meditation technique, which is about having no head. And it was developed by the late Douglas Harding, and it's currently being taught by Richard Lang throughout the world. And it's a really special thing, and I'll, I'll link up the websites for those people below if you're interested. And for me personally, this meditation technique totally shifted my awareness and kind of totally, you know, transformed my experience of my life, basically. <laughs> it's quite powerful. Um, it can be a little bit tricky to get, but you know, I'll do my best to explain it and maybe you can try it out um, for yourself and see how it goes for you. So basically Douglas Harding was walking in the Himalayas, as you do as a spiritual person, and he had this realization that he didn't have a head, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But what he realized was that, you know, you can see other people's heads when you look around, but in his direct experience, he realized that he doesn't, you don't have a head in your direct experience. Like your experience right now, you know, you can see, if you look down, you can see your legs, you can see your body, you can see your arms. Then there's like this line and there's nothing above it. Like we can't actually see our head. Um, our direct experience is not having a head. And, you know, then noticing what's in place of our heads. If you just look right now, what's what's in place of your head in your direct experience? There's this gigantic big space. And it's quite profound when you kind of realize this, that our direct experience is not having a head, and instead of a head, we've just got this gigantic big space. And inside that space is all these objects. Like our direct experience is having a big space full of all these objects and people and yeah, it's quite a, a different shift in your awareness. So I'm not sure if that makes any sense to you. But there's a little experiment you can try now to try and help you understand this. So Douglas Harding suggests to use your finger and kind of start by just pointing to a few things around the room. And just notice that everything you point to has a color and a shape and a texture. And, you know, point to something else and just notice, you know, it's quite defined. It has edges. It's quite defined. Um, and now the trick is to point your attention back to what you're looking out of. Actually point back to where your head should be. And just notice in your direct experience, what are you pointing at right now? And just notice what you're pointing at has a little bit of a different quality to those other things you were pointing at. You know, what you're pointing at doesn't have a color, it doesn't have a shape, uh, it doesn't have outlines. It's, it's quite different, isn't it? Well, because we're bringing our attention back to that which we're looking out of. Just see if you can try that for yourself right now. So what you're looking out of is quite different to the objects that you're seeing. And yeah, what we're tuning into is that right at our center is this kind of spaciousness that's always there. You know, right at our center is not kind of this solid thing. It's actually this kind of big open space that kind of contains our body, contains all the objects around us. And, you know, this is, this is amazing. When you really experience that, it's like, oh my God, you know, right at my center is space. And it's a total shift in your kind of awareness and understanding of yourself and reality. And, yeah, it's quite a beautiful thing. And Douglas Harding has some really beautiful ways of describing it. He, one thing he says is that we're built open. He says we're built open. We're built for relationship. We're built for love. So there's this kind of openness um, 
that you experience when you when you kind of tune into that headlessness and what you notice is that people other people appear within that space other people appear within the space where your head should be so people appear within you and you know you're appearing within other people and it totally changes your relationship because it's almost like you experience yourself as being that other person. There's no space between you and that other person because they're actually kind of appearing within your space, if that makes sense. And you can try this out for yourself and just notice people are appearing within the space above your shoulders and all the other objects appear and it creates this kind of deep intimacy with your surroundings where you're actually experiencing yourself as your surroundings, as, as other people, which is really quite beautiful and you know it's what a lot of the spiritual practices are trying to get you to um, but Douglas Harding makes it so quick and simple to kind of experience yourself as the world which is quite profound I think and he has a few different ways you can actually practice it and you know meditate with it and get better at it and one of the ways he suggests is as you're driving or as you're walking it's a really good time when you're moving through space to actually tune into this headlessness and notice that in your direct experience you don't have a head. And what you notice is that that space where your head should be is actually like everything just kind of moves through, like flowing like a river. But that space itself doesn't change. That space remains clear and transparent. Uh, and it can totally shift your kind of understanding of yourself and the world and create this real stillness because what you realize is that space at your center is always there, doesn't change and the world just kind of moves through and yeah, it means you can be a little bit more detached and not affected by things so much because you're kind of noticing how the world kind of moves through you rather than being kind of caught up in everything. So yeah, I really encourage you to check out Douglas Harding's website and Richard Lang's website. There's some really profound stuff here that can totally blow your mind. I hope it blows your mind as much as it blows my mind. Yeah, so I hope that was all helpful for you and I hope you try it out. And yeah, if you like this video, please hit like. It really helps get the videos out there. And I'd love you to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Okay, lots of love.